You know the drill, it's early on a Sunday morning, I'm at Kempton Toy Fair. This one is traditionally a small affair, focusing on cars and trains, but recently I've been finding some decent stuff, so let's go hunting. As always, I went for the early bird ticket. As you can see, this is a small fair, everybody is still setting up, but it's quiet. I can actually have a relaxing browse. Rob's stall is always full of vintage goodness. Always takes me a little while to rummage through some great items here. And I don't think I've ever seen such a large selection of Marvel X-Men carded figures there. Is that Toy Biz? Yeah, Toy Biz from the 90s. Very nice selection. And this carded real Ghostbusters Dracula figure. That caught my eye as well. Very nice. Ooh, another dragon from Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> now, here's a figure you don't see very often in the UK, loose and complete. A Galaxy Ranger. Now that is tempting. Now here's a seller I've never come across before. It's Duncan's Toyporium. And boy, did he have some really cool stuff on his table. Duncan stall had pretty much all my favorite toy lines. We've got Karate Kid, we have Rambo, we have Centurions, even Sectars. And he had some knockoff figures from Spain that I've never seen before as well. These are cool. <laughs> so what are these called again? Airgam. 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 Oh, right. Comic figures. Um, it's like this guy. He's called Action Arm. Right. But yeah, they, they obviously didn't pay any licenses. So that is Wolverine. Isn't it? Yeah, obviously, yeah. But it's, no, That's it's a great knockoff. Yeah. But I just think of... So we're at least from Spain, you say? Spanish, yeah. Spanish, I, yeah. Nice. I got them from, from the UK, from a um, house clearance store. A guy I've had for like 40 years. Yeah. And, uh, but I just thought they were too cool. Yeah, you've got some great stuff on this store. Now, you may not be aware but I have recently started collecting advanced Dungeons and Dragons from LJN. I'm gonna blame Derby collector Steve. He showed me his collection recently and I've got the bug now. So to my surprise, Duncan had a whole host of Dungeons and Dragons figures, a lot of them complete. So these are very, very tempting indeed. Follow both Robbo's Toys and Duncan's Toyporium on Instagram. And Duncan also runs his own toy fair as well. So if you're in the Nebworth area, go check that out. Not another General Medine. He's definitely following me around at these fairs. Thank you. 
It's a trap. I've been very surprised by Kempton Toy Fair today. There's been some really good vintage items up for sale. I've had a great chat with loads of people, including the Toy Division boys, and I've actually managed to find some nice pieces. So let's head home and take a look. The first thing I picked up today was this, a double VHS mask collection in this rather cool looking box. I've never seen this before. It's not actually for me, it's going to be going to Luke at Reynolds Reviews. I don't believe he has this. If he does, then I'm sure somebody else out there will love it instead. But I thought it was rather cool, something I hadn't seen before. It was only a fiver, so yeah, pick that one up. Next up, because I couldn't resist them, some advanced Dungeons & Dragons figures from LJN. First up, we have a Series 1 figure, Ringle Run. Now, I have the figure because I got it from Derby Collector before but now I've got the staff to go with it. It's the accessories on these figures that are always the tricky things to find. So yeah, picked up that one, but I didn't just stop there. <laughs> I also picked up this Series 2 figure, oh crikey, what's he called? Zorgar, I think he's called. Very nice, and these Series 2 have actions on the back as well. So yep, there we go. Caveman-like action there. That's cool, he's supposed to have a knife as well, but I'll have to find that at a later date. We also have Hawkler. Now this guy has quite a number of accessories. Some of them are missing. We've got the quiver there as well. I think it's supposed to have some kind of belt over his body there, but I'll hunt that down, see if I can find it. But that's nice to add to the collection, Hawkler. We also have another Series 2 figure here, Deeth. Now he's missing his cloak, and I think he also maybe has a knife as well, or a dagger. Again, it's got the action on the back. I'm really liking these figures, and I'm blaming <laughs> Derby Collector for this. So I'm going to try and get some of the figures, and then maybe some of the uh, dragons as well. But of course, Advanced Dungeons & Dragons has the awesome playset. Uh, maybe one day I'll get that. And then finally, I've got this figure here, Man Doom. Now, he's missing his shield but he does have his firing lion there and his sword and the helmet there as well. Now this has got two actions. You've got the lever on the back for his arm, but I quite like this because this reminds me of some of the Japanese toys. This lion here is fired by another button on the side <laughs> and off it goes. That's pretty cool. So yeah, a nice selection of advanced Dungeons and Dragons figures there. And I'll probably have to go to the States to try and finish off some of those accessories. They are quite hard to get hold of. But that wasn't all I got. I got one more thing which I'm really, really happy about. I never thought I'd have this in my collection, a Galaxy Ranger. From the Adventures of Galaxy Rangers, a cartoon from back in the 80s. And this is Goose or Gooseman. Ah, oh, so cool. You really very rarely see these in the UK. In fact, I think they're only sold in the UK and Europe. I don't believe they're actually sold in the US. But even so, you just don't see them in the wild. And this was on Robbo's stall this morning. I thought about it not for long and pulled the trigger. <laughs> no pun intended. And you don't see them complete either very often. And we have his Stetson, very nice. We have his gun there, and we also have the badge that you could wear. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, this is such a cool figure. It's going to look so, so amazing next to my Brave Star figures as well. It does have an action. 
we can pull the arm back like so. It's got a leaf on the back. And then we've got quick draw like that. <laughs> I think there's what, four or five other characters in the line? No idea if I'll ever have those. Who knows, I can always hope. But for now, I'm really happy to find this at Kempton of all places. Wow, you never know. You never know what you find on your toy hunts. Well, that was a very successful toy hunt at Kempton today and it was great to meet everyone as well. That's all part of the fun. I know I haven't put many restoration videos out recently, but I've got a few in the pipeline and I just want to say thanks for all your support on the channel. All I've got left to say is stay safe everyone and cheers. Thank you for staying till the end. Reward yourself with another VTR classic. Or just leave a comment, like and subscribe. Until next time, stay safe and cheers.